Today I'm here to tell Treyarch exactly how to do their job because as everybody on this planet of Earth knows is that random people on the internet know how to develop and balance games way better than the developers themselves. And as your current random guy on the internet here, I'm here to tell Treyarch exactly how to make the perfect perk system for Call of Duty Zombies. Now, before we get into that though, I do want to quickly mention where this is all coming from because this actually came from a video that I made just a couple days ago and what that video was is making the perfect zombies game and it was just kind of collecting different aspects from different zombie games from the past and just kind of making them into their own game. And if you guys want to check out that video, they'll be linked on screen because I thought it was a little fun to do. But uh, the reason it's important to this or relevant to what we're talking about here now is that during that I ran into to the perk system and I started thinking about all the four different perk systems from all the different games and I started thinking about okay which one's best which one would fit into my hypothetical perfect game and I started thinking about all of them and I realized all of these kind of have major problems with them so that's when I came to the realization that oh my gosh I know better than Treyarch and so that's where this video comes from but now without wasting any more time let's actually jump right into this into my ideal perfect perk system for Call of Duty Zombies. So how does my perfect perk system work? Well, there's some quick simple things I want to go over and then we'll get into the main thing that I think makes my perk system stand above the rest. So the first thing I want to mention are those small things and what this is is first I don't think that there should be a perk limit. Perk limits are done, they were always done, and I'm glad they're gone. We do have to give Treyarch, they did remove them in Cold War, small little claps for them. I know the mod community did this way before them, but hey, give credit where some credit is due. Regardless though, you have to actually give the no perk limit a chance to shine, and what I mean by this is that you can't say there's no perk limit, but then there's only four perks available on the map. And because of this, I think every map at the very, very least should have six plus perks available. But now it's time to get into my beautiful and grand idea. This idea that is going to outshine any idea that Treyarch has ever had before because I just know that much more than them. And what this grand idea is, is none other than upgradable perks. Yep. I know, I'm a genius. <laughs> this change alone, this brought zombies back to its heyday. Black Ops 3, step aside, we got a new golden era of zombies. We got everything back, the ether storylines back, the crazy locations, crazy easter eggs. Even Jason Blundell is back. In fact, he's somewhere hiding in my room about to pull out a poster of Zombies Chronicles 2. Oh yeah, baby, let's go. So what would make my perk upgrade system so different and so much better from the two that we had in these last two Zombies games? Well, I think there's a couple different things and some of the ideas will be brought over from Cold War and then even Vanguard's perk systems, but in the end I think there's one major difference between both of them. But how it would work is the first thing I think is very important is that Kind of like Vanguard, I do think that the upgrades should be tied to the match instead of your overall game. And what I mean by this is in Cold War, you upgraded your perks out of game in the menu and every match you played thereafter, the perks were already upgraded when you went up to the machine. And to me, this was too OP. And to me, I think it would be much better if it's more similar to Vanguard where you go into your match and you have to upgrade your perks every single match you go into. And I think this builds on the whole idea of zombies that has existed for a long time where you start your game pretty weak and after you upgrade everything you feel like a super soldier and it only adds to that feeling of becoming a super soldier and that's something I like. But a major difference between Vanguard's and my idea is that I think once you upgrade a perk it should be permanently upgraded for the rest of that match. Because as you know in Vanguard, if you do have everything upgraded tier 4, you go down and all of a sudden all your perks are at tier 3 again, like it's very tragic. Of course in my system, when you go down, you just lose your perks like you did in every Zombies game before this. But if you had upgraded your perk already, when you go back to buy it, it's still upgraded and you don't have to worry about upgrading it again or paying even more because Vanguard, as we know, is way too expensive to buy your perks to begin with and it gets even worse if you go down and need to buy your perks back. Another part of both Vanguard and Cold War's perk upgrade system that I think should return is the tiers. I do think tiers were good and I think that having 
getting different tiers upgrade to them even in game is a good thing now the amount of upgrades that you have per game i'm not really sure if i think it should be three or four upgrades per game but one of those two should be the best but speaking of these tiers how do you even upgrade your perks to these tiers in my ideal system well i think it's actually quite easy because honestly i think that you could do something simple like vanguard and just let you just pay more on the perk to upgrade it except you know in my chain system the upgrades are permanent and also you'd probably reduce the price but of course you'd also like tie challenges to the perk upgrades and just have to do a challenge and when you do it goes up a tier or something like that but with those ideas are fine and all i'm sure they'd be fine if they were in a game and much better than what we currently have but to me what i think would be the best idea would just be that you would get parts and every time you added a part to a perk machine it would upgrade it one tier now how you would get these parts i think it would be best is if they were just drops from the zombies think of kind of the seeds from zetsubo no shima kind of dropping at that rate and i think this would be really cool because first it doesn't take away from your precious points that you have to spend money on other things because you're going to end up broke a lot more often if you're constantly having to pay to upgrade perks on top of buying them pack a bunch of doors and all the other stuff that you have to spend points on so adding it to another currency just like by part drop that randomly dropped from a zombie would help in that and also i think it would add a little strategy to this because how i imagine this working is that you can't actually have every perk upgraded until at least like round 30 or somewhere around there and what this means is that if you're doing like let's say an easter egg you're not going to be able to have every single perk maxed out to its top ability so this would add a little strategy to it thinking like okay i know that i'm not going to be able to have every perk upgraded to the max so what i'll do instead is just upgrade the tier abilities that are most important for doing this easter egg and i think that would add even more strategy into doing easter eggs and stuff like that and why i think it would be even cooler and i think with this and all the other features i said i think that this tier upgrade system would just be really really cool but of course we can't forget about the most important part of these tier upgrades and what that is is that uh, what are the upgrades themselves because as we know from Vanguard upgrades could be really really bad So how exactly should we go about upgrading? Well to me I don't think it's too difficult to figure out what they should do here because actually I think Cold War zombies did it really really well like sure sometimes the tier upgrades is just the base ability except slightly better but then there's also abilities that are completely new it's not just the base ability continue to be upgraded like for example you could have stamina that it removes the sprint off fall off speed or speed cola it lets you fire and reload while sprinting at full speed and just ideas like that I think would be really cool again there could be abilities that are just the base ability except better or doubled or something like that like that's fine to have at least sometimes but you also need to have cooler ideas to upgrade and i think just having kind of the cold war upgrade system is something that would be really really cool just keep the same ideas that you had there a mixture of the base abilities but better but also new unique abilities that you could add to your perks as you upgrade them and with that i think that summarizes my ideal perk system for a zombies game i don't know if it made sense hopefully i'll find out soon enough but i think that this would be really cool i mean i think it has everything that i personally want in a perk system like you upgrade the perks in game you also are going to be able to upgrade them without like kind of going out of your way to upgrade them because you're going to be killing zombies anyways the part's going to drop and you can just take that to a perk machine and upgrades uh, then also the upgrades that you actually get they're going to be really useful and also they're going to be unique and change it i think it just has the best of all worlds and i think this possibly could be the best possible perk system that we could see in a call of duty zombies game but that's just my opinion i'd love to hear what you guys think about my idea for the perfect perk system do you guys uh think that this idea is great stupid dumb really bad or what is it go ahead and let me know down in the comment section down below but regardless that's going to wrap it up for this video if you guys did enjoy the video and you at least found it entertaining in any way shape or form definitely do all the normal youtube stuff like subscribe bell share and all that great stuff but i'm gonna go and i'll catch you guys next stream video or whatever the heck it may be and uh laters guys